Oh, you want to talk or look at the camera? Well, I'm going to talk and look at okay, the camera. Okay, okay, okay. Hi, everyone. We are at the world, and I mean world famous, one and only Lansky's. We are in the Peabody Hotel, and I would like to introduce you to Mr. Hal Lansky. How, how you doing? Nice to see you, Mandy. Uh, I've heard about you for so many years, and I've never had the pleasure to meet you. And uh, did you ever meet my dad? I did not okay, meet your okay. father, unfortunately. Okay. When I was here, we were at Graceland, okay. or we were on tour, okay. or uh, we were in one of the cities, okay. you know, Las Vegas okay. or Las Wages. Las well, Las Wages, okay. which is why Elvis didn't gamble. Right. And but the um, did. But, he did. but the Colonel made up for it many times over. We don't. We don't want to go okay. there. We okay. we know that one. Okay. Sure. Okay, Mindy. But um, are we able to take a tour and have everybody see your beautiful stores? Whatever, I'd be glad to give it to you. You know, right now it's a little mess. A uh, mess. This is the end of uh, Elvis Day number three, and uh, this is uh, the greatest time of the of the year for us. Uh, uh, this is like our Christmas, mm -hmm. uh, and the store is a wreck. And uh, um, I, I, I got, if you look at our website, um, uh, you know, Elvis uh, traded uh, his uh, German Messerschmitt um, oh, yes. for, for uh, a shopping spree. And mm -hmm. at the end of, uh, end of the, uh, the, the audio that uh, Elvis was talking, he said, "Oh, I left that store. It was a mess. Well, our store is a mess now. But but I'll give you uh, give you a little tour tour." And uh, um, I mean. The um, Elvis yeah, fans yeah. that follow me yeah. uh, always ask me if I'm going to do interviews with, mm -hmm. with you know, famous people yeah. that had to do with Elvis right. because a lot of them are older now and they can't travel, they're right. ill, right. or it's very expensive for them now. Right. Right. And a lot of them have never been to your store, but they know all about you right. and they order from you. Right. And also the women's department, I think, is fantastic. Well, you, you, um, so... Uh, do you want to show them all the new stuff, especially from the film and the T-shirts well, yeah, and all me, that? Uh, let me get. Uh, just let me just talk about a couple things. Yes. Uh, okay, of course. Uh, let me just walk over here. Okay. So, so if, you're this lady right here, if, you, if you saw the movie, and I've seen it three times. Hopefully, I'll see it one more time before it leaves the big screen. But this is a shirt that Austin Butler wore, uh, also uh, Elvis. Um, this is the Milton Burl. Like, uh, I think Austin said in the movie, this is uh, Uncle Milt. He's going to be on Unc Uncle Milty's show. But, uh -huh. but this shirt has been an awesome seller uh, for Elvis Week, and uh, it's, it's great. And this also comes in black and white. And if you look up here uh, behind Minnie, you see this uh, the king of rock and roll uh, wearing that shirt. Yeah. So uh, so, so any, anyway... Okay. Hey, how you doing, young lady? Good to see you. Good to see you. So we are going to tour the store with Mr. Hal Lansky, but I want to say one of my favorite all-time, um, I would say article, but but pieces of clothing that you have in this store have always been these for me, the blue suede uh, slip-ons, the TCB slip-on shoes. They are my favorite, and I've asked Mr. Lansky, why doesn't he have any for women? He said he did, but you're not making them anymore. Well, you know, uh, you know uh, since I met you, I try to take good care of my friends, so uh, uh -huh. maybe in the near future you might hear from me. Uh -huh. you might, you might that would be the dream, but because I'd probably never wear them. Well, It'd be like Elizabeth Taylor's shoes where they're on the wall. Yeah, but you know, a lot of people never wear our stuff, they just, just hang it. I, I got customers that, that shop with me all the time, and yeah. I see them out at night, they never wear our clothes I guess they think there is a special occasion coming up but, well, uh, it's, but you know what the thing is they're so impeccably beautiful well, thank you, thank and you. so well crafted well, thank you, thank you. that people look at them as a piece of art I mean look at this jacket well, I mean cool. your 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 shirts your jackets they're 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 art I mean they're pieces of art well, really thank you, thank you, yeah anyway, we're in the shoe department let's walk over here a little okay. and so of course you know uh, here again, this is the TCB shoe again, but, but uh, here again, you can't come to Memphis without buying a pair of blue suede shoes. So we got the blue suede, the slip-on, the lace. Um, we got the uh, pink. This is new for us, pink. You know, we're selling these to ladies, too. Yes, yeah, love, yep, yep, I this pink. These. You know, of course, you can, you know, Elvis uh, wasn't, wasn't afraid of, black. yeah, El, yeah. we like to take credit for black and pink, and Elvis loved pink, and uh, back then, mm -hmm. men didn't wear pink. And uh, he rocked it pretty good, didn't he? He yeah. did. And, and he the, started like everything else, a whole new phase. Yeah. And of course the uh, the black and white, mm -hmm. black and white belts. But this is uh, we sell a lot of this, so this is a great item for Elvis Week. And year round, we try to stock these year round. All right, let's let's walk over another room. You got a minute? Yeah. Yes, okay. sir. Okay. We okay. have all okay. the time okay. for okay. you. Okay. <clears throat> we are going into the next room. We are following Mr. Hal Langsky here. We are at the 45th anniversary of life celebration of Elvis Presley. And um, 
We are very excited to be in the number one store that Elvis absolutely loved and adored, and I'm sure, I'm sure you've seen a lot of pictures. Uh, so this is Elvis week. It's a very special time. Right. So this is another item we're selling good. This is a TCB leather, taking care of business in a flash. The nice thing about this jacket, if you're in the Elvis world, you know about this. If you're not in the Elvis world, it's just a cool jacket. And a lot of time, it's not a day that goes by that we have new people coming to our store and they say, what is this, what is this? If they have to ask me what it is, I know they're not an Elvis fan. So we try to educate and we try to keep the legacy of my dad and the legacy of Elvis. Uh, uh, you know, Elvis, Elvis, I don't know about my dad, but Elvis's legacy will be here long after we're all gone. It'll be like well, Elvis your your dad, yeah. your dad, your dad, and your family yeah. and the store will be like Elvis. It well, will never thank die. You. Thank you. Thank, well, die. thank you. I hope so. But anyway, we we kind of uh, tricked this out with uh, nice little uh, uh, metal uh, uh, lightning bolts, and of course, in the in, inside is uh, is um, TCB with a lightning bolt, and of course, it has a uh, the Elvis uh, signature in there. Of course, the Lansky label. You know, uh, you know, our clothes. You know, we try to. Uh, Everything in here is pretty reasonable. I think, um, you know, this jacket is lamb. And we price it right. It's only two hundred ninety-five dollars. So, so you know, we, we 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 could mark it up more. But but the fans, you know, there's a price point that fans can afford. And and Elvis knew that. And you know, when the colonel tried to raise prices for his tickets right. and everything, he said no. No, no. But uh, but anyway, so this is uh, this is a pretty cool item. And uh, do me a favor, look behind you. There's a shirt right there. Uh, we we do excellent with this new for Elvis oh, Week. Yes. It's the peacock shirt. And uh, of course, I uh, mean, you know, Elvis loved peacocks, mm -hmm. and peacocks meant uh, I think happiness. Yes. And so uh, you know, that's that's pretty cool. That's been a, been a winner too. But uh, I'm gonna let's go, we're gonna walk over here and see some of our heritage jackets. Okay. Yep. Here okay. We go. Let's walk over here. This is a beautiful jacket right here. Oh, this yeah. this is, can you get a pic, shot of this? This is absolutely yeah. gorgeous. We have an artist here. You can look around. We see, you mm -hmm. see this is artwork. And beautiful. People, they hang it up. Yeah. yeah. And uh, let's come over here. So, so Mindy, you know, if you're an Elvis fan, you know this this jacket. And mm -hmm. In my opinion, my, in my opinion, this is Elvis's most iconic jacket. Some people might think it's the gold LeMay, but yeah. I think it's this one. He bought this from us in the 50s. He wore this in the Jailhouse Rock movie. Yeah, so this is right here. This is, uh, and of course, a lot of a lot of our signature pieces, we kind of uh, tricked them out with photos of uh, my dad and Elvis. So uh, this is a cool jacket right here. This is a jacket, excuse me, man. Mm -hmm. This is the jacket Elvis wore. Uh, in the 50s also, this is, is, we call this the Louisiana Hayride. It's got a lot of nice, uh, a black and white, and we kind of put a little pink in there because uh, Elvis, Elvis loved pink. He loved pink and black. Pink. Yeah, yeah. You so. put pink and black on the map right. in those days, you know. But he always, always. And this one, I think, um, so our the, our friend uh, Colin Paul, yeah, I he, believe, yeah. has this jacket. Yeah, he was in here yesterday. Colin's yeah, awesome. I guy. love him. I'm yeah. gonna see. Yeah, yeah, he has a beautiful. Family. He did my interview, and I was here in yeah. January to celebrate Elvis' 87th okay. birthday okay. at the dojo okay. where Elvis trained with you, my, my friend Dave Hebler and Kang Ree. Okay. Uh, I'm going to do my spiritual okay. show on okay. Sunday. Okay. I invite you to okay. come. Okay. It's going to be at 6 o'clock. It's a show that's never been done before okay. by Elvis. At the dojo? At the dojo. Okay. Um, it's going to be all about what we studied and read, okay. the Bible, and it, the essence of who Elvis was is this is this show. Um, my show will be at 6 p.m. 6 p.m. And I believe that Ted Torres, who's, I've asked him to do a spiritual show, or gospel show, his show will be at 4. Okay, awesome. And um, so it's going to be, would love to have okay. you come. I'll try to make it, but i got, got to tell you, this Elvis week, you know, it's a lot of fun, but it's very stressful. And when I leave here, I'm like a wilted rose, man. I'm yeah. Oh, like with that, a yeah. spiritual show and you sitting with candlelight yeah. and just yeah. alming out and just relaxing, right. this is what this show is. It's not loud music. Yeah. It's people that love Elvis that are just going to be there to listen to the essence of who this man was. Right. Not just, oh, he bought me a car, yeah. he bought me this. What was he reading? What was he experiencing? Life after death situations. Um, his fascination with esoteric psychology, mm -hmm. things that people don't know about because they weren't interested. Right. And that's how he and I bonded. Okay, good. So I would, we would love uh, to okay, have well, you there. Yeah, I, I hate to promise you, I'll try to. I know, you know, I know, I know. I know. So, so anyway, those are a few of our items we have for, you know, for sale. Okay. And 
Uh, but I'm so so thankful. To, it's a pleasure to meet you, Mandy. It, yeah. it finally, it is because I've known of yeah. you for so long, but I never, I never came in right. with him or anything. Right. So, well, you know, mostly when I was here, we were at his house. Right. So well, we didn't really, castle, we castle, did, yeah, yeah, we didn't really venture yeah, out. Yeah, so, so cool. but is there anything else you'd like to no, show us, no, or what about the ladies, or should I ask one of the ladies I'll, in I'll here? I'll walk you over there and get them to show you around. Okay. Yeah, I'll get Joanna to show you around. I'm like a fish out of water over there. Okay. My daughter runs that store. Oh, does she? You know, okay. I'm, I'm second, second generation, and we yeah. have a third generation, so... Uh, Third generation. That's the blessing to yeah. have the third. And I right. hope the fourth is coming up. Well, we ha we have a couple of grandkids running around here once in a while, but uh, oh, who knows? You know, the the first generation makes it. That was my dad. Second generation maintains it. The third generation, which is my daughter Julie, yeah. either they screw it up or they cash it, cash out, yeah. and they very rarely gets to the fourth fourth generation. Well, I hope nobody ever cashes out because you you never know. You never know but after I'm gone. I don't have any control. Yet. Well, but you know the thing is, I've I've been to to um, I can't think of nudies. Yep, right. You know, mm -hmm. uh, in like Los in Los Angeles, yeah. I grew up out there yeah. and was in the entertainment right. industry for my whole life. Right. But there is no store that I've ever seen anywhere in the world like your store. And I've lived Thank in Europe. I've lived you. all over the world. Thank you. This is the number one iconic Thank store. You. Rock and roll, yeah, Jerry Lee yeah. Lewis, yeah. everybody. Right. This is the store, and this is the man, ladies and well, gentlemen. I'm the man now. My dad, I wish he was here, but uh, uh, thankful. Uh, uh, as I tell people a lot of times, thank goodness my dad was born before I was because he gave me a great <laughs> business, and, and I hope I don't screw it up. No, so, and yeah. you haven't, yeah. and you, uh, you've done a, an incredible job for his thank legacy. Thank, thank That's the whole thing. You. you continue that legacy. Thank, thank you, people would be extremely disappointed isn't even the right adjective to use. There would be no place to go. Right. Well, thank you. We enjoy Down to three, two, one. Okay, Miss Mindy, this is our history book. This is our 75th year. Mm -hmm. It's taken us 75, really 76 years to put our book together. This is a great coffee table book. Amazing. Um, and it's awesome. Great pictures. But, you know, every day people ask me, have I ever, uh, did I ever see Elvis? Did I ever meet Elvis? Well, you know, this is a picture of a young kid with big ears. I was probably seven or eight years old right Look there. Look how adorable you are. Yeah, uh, thank you. I finally grew into my and ears. And still are. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Flattery will get you everywhere. There you go. I finally grew into my ears, but uh, now with losing all my hair, my ears still look big. But anyway, you know, um, people ask me if, I've, if I remember this, and the answer is no. You know, back then, nobody had cameras, so there's a lot of lost moments when Elvis is in a store. So mm -hmm. back then, the only people who had cameras were professional photographers. Yeah. You know, everybody now has um, iPhones and all these cameras and stuff, so there's a lot, a lot of lost moments. So, so, uh, so Mindy, uh, see where Elvis's hand is on my left shoulder? Yes. Um, um, I've been touched by the king. Yes, so, uh, so anyway, this is my sister. Can you get a close up? Yeah. Of him? Oh, you got yeah. it. Okay, great. This is my sister, cousin, my aunt back there. But, but I cherish cherish this photo. I mean, it's like, That's like gold. You know, every day, every day we both hear, oh my God, if I could only been to a concert, if I only yeah. met Elvis. So we both, both experienced his kindness and his love for yeah. his fellow man and. Uh, it, it's just just awesome to, to know him so uh he, yeah so i i enjoy keeping the legacy of my dad and yeah. elvis alive so uh well they yeah. have a legacy yeah. together right. Right. they really do and right. i don't know if most people realize right. that but you know you your your dad outfitted him in the most incredible outfits oh, thank you. and that was part of what made his stage presence so incredible right thank you you know you know elvis was a talent a talent unto himself but mm -hmm. um you know of course i want to Give my dad credit too. It was yeah. a combination. You know, he he. It was a little icing on the cake. So. Uh, well, you know, people don't realize that in Hollywood, it, it takes a team. We call them a team of right. people. You've got your hairdressers. You've got your dentist. Right. You've got your makeup people. Spiritual your leaders. your spiritual yeah, leaders. Yeah, your right. gurus. Right. Your. And most important right. is when you get on the red carpet, right. for you know an event, whether it's uh, the Emmy Awards right. or the Grammys or any of it. You have a stylist, and the people that style your hair and dress you is the most important. This is your look. Right, right. And this is why Lansky is so famous, you. because you are so responsible you. for so much of his look, and he came to you for that right. look. You know, Mindy, I tell everybody, you know, we outfitted him for uh, three decades, mm -hmm. uh, the 50s, 60s, 70s, but the Lansky look 
is when he looked his best, young and innocent. Yeah. That's the that's the Lancey look. We don't we don't take credit for any jumpsuits. However, in the sixties, he did did buy some jumpsuits from us. They were yeah. they were really plain. But yeah. but the Lancey look is when he looked his best, young and innocent. Yeah, I I mean I like the jumpsuits yeah. to be honest with you, but I really prefer the entire yeah. wardrobe right. that you set him right. up well, with. Thanks, thanks. And when, you know, when he finally got the money, he said, I'm coming right back. And he did. Right, right. Whatever happened with the car? But we still got it. We still got Do it. Do you yeah. really? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's wonderful. It's awesome. That, you know, they gave it, uh, they, uh, RCA Records gave it to uh, Elvis when he sold uh, a million records. Uh -huh. And he was, Elvis was so proud of that car because my yeah. dad knew him when he, when he didn't have anything. So he drove it down. He said, Mr. Lansky, Mr. Lansky, let yeah. me show you my car. Yeah. He was so proud of that car. Yeah. And my dad said, Elvis, that's awesome. He said, when you're finished that car, I want that car. And with months later, uh, he shopped it. Uh, he he uh, traded it for a two-and-a-half-hour uh, shopping spree in, in the store. And if you go to our website, uh, shameless plug here, uh, Lansky, B-R-O-L-A-N-S-K-Y-B-R-O-L-A-N-S-K-Y-B-R-O-L-A-N-S-K-Y-B-R-O-L-A-N-S-K-Y-B-R-O-L-A-N-S-K-Y-B-R-O